Many African Americans lack trust in the Republican Party for this reason. Natasha Alford and Scott Jennings discussed white supremacy, Nikki Haley's stance on racism, and debated the Republican candidate's assertion that the United States has never been a racist country. Scott Jennings seems unaware of the extent of slavery's impact on black Americans. Must watch. You do not deserve to be president of this country if you don't have a coherent, consistent message about race. Mm -hmm. It is just 101, right? If you're going to lead this country through a time of division and partisanship, you have to have a consistent message. And I think this is why people don't trust Nikki Haley. Mm -hmm. They can't trust that she actually <laughs> says what she means and she believes, but they, they can count on her saying whatever sounds good to the audience that she's speaking to. This will not work in a general election. I, I do think you can make a distinction between saying an entire country is racist versus saying that there have been individual people or moments of racism. Where I think she is in trouble on this issue is it's in her head now. The slavery thing was a real gaffe. To say that we've never been a racist country, I mean, obviously, the That's era of slavery, not. the right. period right. after the Civil War, the rise of the Klan, I mean, we had massive bouts and, and rounds with racism. Now, you know, her party, the Republican Party, was the party that started to dig us out of that in this country yeah. and to improve us every day, which she never actually says, DeSantis says it, and I'm surprised at that because that's part of our proud history as Republicans, the fight against slavery well, and the struggle. Can I just say yeah. something, though? I mean, we talk about this as if it is the past. We are looking at, we've covered stories where people have died, have been killed because of racism. Jacksonville, Florida, the Dollar Tree shooting. I mean, this is happening mm -hmm. right now. And this is not just the black community, right? You, you, the Japanese internment. I mean, those families and descendants are still here. My last name is Alford, not because my family chose that last name. That is the name of the slaveholding family that owned us. I know the plantation that we are from in South Carolina, and I am here. My father desegregated a school. He remembers those things. So why do we have to talk about it as if it is past? This is right now. The pain is real. The survivors of racism, we are here, right? And so if you don't have a message around that, that talks about the future, that talks about the present, you cannot lead this country. Well, Republicans do have a message around it. And it's that, to it, ignore it. it it's no. to say that we are colorblind, no, which and, does not and, and, solve and it, the but, problem. But it is to say that... Scott Jennings' reply indicates a lack of understanding. We are undoubtedly a better and stronger nation on this front today than we were 10, 20, 40, 50, 150, 180 years ago. We are undoubtedly better as an American yeah. people than we ever have been. And, and that will be true again tomorrow. But and that, why I think is that? that was the but point why is it? Making. It's not because we ignored it. It's because people called out what was uncomfortable and they challenged the status quo and they said, we need to live up to what the American dream actually is. Those were the people who were demonized. We just celebrated Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King was killed. He was killed. He was not considered a favorite or a darling of America because he stood up against racism, against poverty. And actually, the greatest threat was that he was uniting poor white people, right, with poor people of color. That was the greatest threat to America, was that he was willing to bring us together. So again, we have to move past talking about this as if it is history, as if it's not happening right now. And when the Republican Party does this colorblind thing, you're gaslighting people. And they're going to react to that, and they're going to show it at the polls. Those who viewed the video, there's no need to share, like, and subscribe. Instead, consider exercising your right to vote.